Hi everyone, my name's Will Barlow and welcome to this short video series for UIQ TV. I'm delighted to welcome Dom from Just After Midnight, part of the Ultima Group, to talk to us about going cloud native and how that can save organisations money with their public cloud. So Dom, Morning. welcome. Thank you very much. And talk to us, what is cloud native? So to me, cloud native has always been about handing over as much responsibility as possible to the cloud vendors. There are some amazing tools that they have to give you the scalability, the flexibility, and the tooling you need to be able to rapidly deploy new environments and scale them and, and react to the world. And managing that internally is frankly a massive pain. So to me, the cloud native movement is all around pushing as much of that pain and suffering onto your Amazon, your Microsoft, your Google, and allow you to focus on just the development and, and workload functionality that you should be paying attention to to give your business an edge. Yeah, that makes sense. And of course, that you mentioned there, that is a, a quite a, a hill to climb, if that makes sense. And particularly with so many skills being short in the market, how can organizations find the right sort of partner to help them do that? Yeah, I mean, DevOps and, and you know what, FinOps as well, I think anything where they've, they've kind of, the market has moved the ops tagline into it. It, it's a massive hill because it, it's actually quite cultural as well as technology. So moving cloud native, for example, is a, an easy sort of step for some organizations mind to be able to make use of the, the kind of underlying features and benefits of the cloud. But there needs to come with a significant cultural change as well. FinOps is a great one as a, a highlight because it changes the mindset from looking at your spend to associating that spend to what's the business value that's being generated. So it's a, it's a change in how you think about it that has to propagate through the entire business. So when you're looking to employ DevOps benefits, you also have to make significant changes to how you run your operation. And that can be a huge challenge, not just from a processes perspective and tooling perspective, but also from a people culture and how you operate. So having third parties around, people like Just After Midnight, who bring to the table wealths of experience and expertise in doing this for people, helping them to adopt the right tool chain to help their organization, and importantly, scale it. So it's not just going, well, you, know, you have to go all in down containerization and you've got to go the whole hog through automated deployment schedules and actually tailoring that back to suit your organization where you're at right now and then help you through that journey over time as right for your business is really really key um, but finding those people is is a challenge and you do have to try and find people who have the underlying capability not just being a you know an old school managed hosting company that's trying to evolve with the time someone who has development skills as well as DevOps engineers and DevOps certified people so that they can understand exactly where you sit on that journey to cloud native and tailor whatever they're doing for you to that. If I heard it right there, you almost need a kind of born in the cloud type approach to the, the service offering as well, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. You can't run in the cloud in the same way that you run on-prem. It's kind of fundamentally impossible. You can do a lot with things like Azure, right? Um, Azure I pick on in particular because to me, it's always been the platform that will meet you wherever you might be. You have to change a lot more to get into AWS and, and get the true benefits out of AWS. But in order to actually exploit those to their fullest, you need to change to how that cloud platform wants you to operate. And just taking your VMs from on site and deploying them into the cloud is, is never going to be as beneficial to you as going down that modernization journey and looking to utilize as many cloud native services as possible. Brilliant, so um, who have Jam done this for? We've done it for loads of people. The business has been around for six, eight years, there or thereabouts. Uh, we've worked with the likes of Formica, built their whole development sort of uh, environments for their customer facing applications. We've worked with Joe Wicks, the body coach, Easy one to drop in, isn't it? Everyone knows Joe. And then, you know, organisations by the dozen underneath that as well. And in terms of sort of cost optimization, I take it this journey towards cloud native technology has had quite an impact for, for these companies in terms of reducing their, not only I guess their cloud spend, but also their operational time as well. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the big challenges when, from an operational side, when you want to start having a fully mature 24 seven you know, operation, is how do you handle the logistical challenges of getting engineers to answer the phone essentially and pick up alerts and respond. 
you know, if you were to set that up as a UK business these days from scratch, you're looking to employ probably a good four or five people globally to do that as a bare bones to make sure that you've got the geographical coverage, but also holiday coverage. And then, you know, in terms of overheads to the business and how much that will cost you in terms of the employment of those staff and keeping them busy, you've got to be at a significant scale before you can start dabbling in that. So that's one core area where our services really come in and help is that 24 seven capability that we've got with our global team means that you don't have to invest in that four, five, six head count prematurely for where your technology and your operation might actually sit to benefit from that response time. And similarly, anyone who um, has been kind of working with us on a managed cloud perspective, we generally see a probably 25 to 30% cost reduction just by virtue of tidying up the automation, making sure that where you've got resources running idle or significantly below, we just scale that right back down and make sure that we're on hand to scale things when appropriate. Brilliant. Thanks, Dom. Cheers, Will. Right, so if you'd like to hear a bit more about going cloud native and how your workloads can be run more cost effectively, both from a, a cloud spend and a time for ops spend in the cloud, then please get in touch. Thanks very much.